It's Brian Preston, the money guy. All right, this next question, Brian, is from Phil. Phil says, how does a person in their late 20s, early 30s, know when they are retirement rich and to focus more on their third bucket rather than their retirement accounts? Thanks, guys. You're the best. I want you to answer this question, but I want to soapbox this a little bit because I get so frustrated, uh, but frustrated in a kind, loving manner when I have these young folks like, hey, man, I did a projection and I started contributing my 401k and I did a time value of money calculation. And I know that when I turn 65, my 401k is going to have like $4 million in there and I'm retirement rich. And I'm like, dude, you're, you're 25 years old. You're still on like the beginning of your wealth building journey. So often I see young folks and young folks who are well-intended, young folks who like are thinking about the future, but they get overly focused on the future. They get overly focused on oh man, I need to think about how I'm allocating my assets for when I'm 65. When realistically, when you're in 20s and 30s, I don't think that ought to be where your focus is. So that context, Brian, what would you tell Phil about how does someone in their late 20s, early 30s know when they're retirement rich and when should they shift to focus more on their third bucket and are there any free resources or courses that you could recommend that would help them <laughs> he didn't figure say that out? That part. No, it was in the question. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil asked that. I, I'm going to start off with the qualitative, and this will go pretty quick, and then pull it back to the quantitative and give some numbers on this. Is that qualitative wise, I'm just going to tell you, Phil, from my own life, I didn't feel like this was truly an issue until I reached it somewhere in my 40s. Mm -hmm. um, from a quantitative standpoint, because I, 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 this, this is the biggest thing I want you to be worried about with this, is that it's not a problem in your 20s and 30s if you feel tight on money, mm -hmm. because everybody feels everybody tight does. on money. It, it, just because the Kardashians look like they're, they're having a great time out there, the lion's share of us all struggled in that messy middle of the 20s and 30s. So it is very important. And that's why we have the financial order of operations prioritize maximizing every one of the opportunities that the government's providing for us to really exponentially grow and build our army army of dollars. But, but here's the numbers part of this. Like I said, I want to do the quantitative side of this. We know from the financial order of operations, you don't even think about the bucket strategy until you get to step seven. Now, mm -hmm. realize step seven is out of a nine-step process, mm -hmm. so you're a long you're ways well into, into the financial order of operations. So what is accomplished in the past means you've already loaded up your Roth IRA. You're already comfortably saving 25% of your gross income before this even becomes a concern for you. And, and that that's really where the answer is. And that's why I tell you, and that's why I want to give the qualitative side is because I don't want you to hear that and go, man, it's going to be forever before mm -hmm. I reach step seven. And you get frustrated with that. I did not feel comfortable with my money to where I could do some of this stuff until I was 42 years yep. of age. And I think that that's, that's as self-reflecting as, as somebody. And look, we don't talk about numbers on the show because I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's my generation, but it is, I'm just telling you, you can have tremendous success, but you have to make sure you focus on what are the things you're wasting your calories or mm -hmm. spending and investing your calories on and your horsepower. It's not the three-bucket strategy if you're in your late 20s and 30s because there's probably – you need to be getting to the 25%. Right. You need to be making sure that you're building up the emergency reserves so you can get that first house mm -hmm. so that you can make it through the health savings account as well as just then picking up what's left over at your employer plan – that's my advice on it. Retirement rich is a concern you have when you're in your 40s and you mm -hmm. can't pay cash for a car or you're retiring at 55 and you have no way to pay your bills until you reach 59 and a half. Yep. That, those are those type of things. That's not a 20 or 30 year old's problem. And I think it goes back to Bo's thing. And this sounds, and it's not supposed to be dismissive because I don't like it when we give advice that says, you just don't worry about that yet. But I think it's just perspective mm -hmm. of somebody who's been there and just saying, make sure you're focusing. Now, if you tell me you've got $2 million already in the account and you're 32 years old. Then you should then go to boundwealth.com you, you, you and you, reach you might out. already be at step nine of the financial order of operations and you should have already called and let the abundance cycle play mm -hmm. through. Then we can help with those one-off situations. But for the majority of people, 
it's not uncommon that you're still comfortably in the messy middle and you're not going to be able to to, to start worrying about re- being retirement rich when you're in your 20s and early 30s. And if you're not quite at that next level stage, I'll tell you two things. One, go to our website, moneyguy.com slash resources, download our free deliverable so you can keep an eye on those nine tried and true steps. But if you want a slightly deeper dive, where we talk about some of these nuances, where we go through some of the intricacies that can exist and take place throughout the financial order of operations, go to learn.moneyguide.com and check out our food course. Uh, And hopefully that will help you stay on the path until you are ready to take the relationship to the next level.